Hello and welcome to Haphazard Heroes, where we take part in a cooperative storytelling adventure <laughs> set in the homebrew realm of Calderon using Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. Ah. We are really happy to have you here for tonight's episode. This is episode 122, um, the finale of the Calderon campaign. Uh, last session, the heroes had overcome a rival adventuring party, the bungholes, uh, that had been guarding the entrance uh, to the lair of the Moire of Fate, uh, and you defeated this Moire, this last remaining artificial intelligence from a bygone civilization, mm -hmm. and it had been quietly manipulating the entirety of civilization for several thousand years. And we pick up with the heroes in its lair. Nerd has cr uh, destroyed the core, the Moire core, has collected the pieces, and the heroes have bested their final big bad and are looking at each other, considering wh where to go next, what to do next. Where do the heroes go after this This has been accomplished? What is the plan? Well, we're going back to uh, Venkirk, aren't we? What's in Venkirk? Well, we have to stop the Ark, aren't are we? The Federation's Ark? That's kind of encapsulating the rest of the civilization into the... How do you propose we do that? Well, I have no idea how to do it. I just figured that was the next step in... Correcting everything that Clotho mucked up in this whole world. Yeah, I mean, I think it's good to go there and figure out how all that shit works. And I mean, I, the question we got to figure out, though, is like, are we reprinting people? That's, are we not reprinting people? Also, can we just be real? Do you think we should go check on New Brasterdam before oh yeah. oh, I want we to. do anything else? Because last we knew, there was a whole bunch of fuck shit going that way. You know, I'm pretty sure I've got a sending spell up my sleeve. I'm just going to talk to Mom really quick. Glad you actually had something prepared. <laughs> <laughs> I was so helpful during that fight. That's thank you. You were. You healed us. It was great. Yeah, it was well, yeah. very you, I, mean, I don't want to see anybody suffer. Anyway, okay. I'm, I'm talking to Mom. Mullen! Mom! All right, is everyone okay? We saw terrible things and... Well, is everyone okay? You can talk to me, you can respond. Oh, well, we're all just a little mixed up over here. Your, your, your twin brother done killed himself. We're all just reeling from that. Uh, uh, Azariah's uh, distraught, but we're all okay. Okay, okay, everybody's okay. Um, so... Everybody's good. Everybody's okay. good, except for my, my, my clone, my, my twin. Okay. He, he did end up... Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I guess he was played the oh, and he, he was just a, a, a sleeper cell the whole time. But he was, Oh, shit, really? Yeah, yeah, but, I, I mean, he was fighting, and he ended up killing himself off before doing any damage to oh. anybody there. As far as I know, I understand, and, and as far as I know, anyway. So, hmm. that's good. But everybody's good, she said. Shake it up. We could. Hmm. Well, should, should we go back to the ship? With the Suresh ship? dropped us off, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah, you guys have an airship at your disposal. Too. Somebody yell at her. Yeah, and you guys have some teleportation rings, but you guys have multiple. Means of transportation at your maybe, disposal. Maybe we should right. get back to the airship and maybe at least then go to Venkirk and see what's going down, I guess, maybe, or no. Decide what we want to do as we go. Yeah, I mean, I think most of that fucking machine shit shut down, but figuring out how to... I, I mean, we could just see if it's a feasible task to even undertake. Maybe it's not. I, mean, I think from what I've seen, there's the potential to reprint people. Opening the arc, I don't know, we could probably fucking figure that shit out. Um, I think the question is, should we reprint the people? Yeah, because if we do, 
And I mean, we start seeing some names and people are like, oh yeah, no, everybody knows this guy and he's not a good person. Let's not reprint that. That could get kind of weird. How do we so, pick and choose though? Yeah, I that, well, that's we what I was do... wondering. Like, can, should we just consider him dead and start over with whatever we've got left that's alive I, and still yeah, unprinted? I think. I mean, I think that we should release the people that are in the arc and not reprint anybody that's... The people in the arc that's need who, to be reprinted, that's though. Who, that's who yeah, anybody it. left over, maybe? Well, that's what They weren't in the arc yet. Yeah. All the, the arc is just a bunch of little data files. Yeah. Terrible way to exist. Do, the, do they know files, that they're data files? That seems very complicated. I'm going to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. very tired. Still. This has been long. And I, I mean, I don't know how philosophical... Like, emotionally trying. So. Yeah. The he the longest sigh <laughs> comes out of gas. <laughs> and, and, like, I, I don't know, like, if you reprint somebody with the vat of humanoid goo, well, they realistically, they're gonna be made out of cells that weren't theirs originally anyway. But I guess, what is a cell? I don't know. Like... Well, I don't think they'll be they'll care, but will they look the same? I would assume so. We look. I mean, the printer. Your your buddy looks the same. I didn't come back the same. Your, I mean, your, I your buddy, buddy your looks the same. Your twin. Oh yeah, no, that's true. They did, yeah. So it's, it'll probably work for whoever goes in. Hmm. I don't know. I, should we be the deciders of if society is reprinted or if we go on with the current? Hmm state of people to set up their own stuff or well we should probably just tell uh like the council back at i mean let's make up a council i mean i'm saying uh, like of important figures that we've got in uh, new Amsterdam and let everybody decide instead so of just us four mm. you, wait you're making the council from within new Amsterdam? well that's where we know the major populace is so any leaders that are but is it there, though like there's well, other oh, continents sure. and other that's actually something i wanted to uh, uh do afterwards too if, if we get this sorted out was to uh, search for any survivors. I don't know who else who else survived this Federation onslaught. For survivors is a good idea, but honestly, I feel like the idea of whether or not we reprint the discs or whatever or they are um, should be between the four of us. It's sort of our responsibility yeah. whether or not we do it or not. Okay, That's I can. Like, I can. We, we, we went this far. We have done all of these things. I don't know. Well, I guess my vote would be if it's feasible. Um, maybe it might take a while, then you should do it. Um, that being said, I don't think we have to do it right away. I, I don't. I don't think there's anything pressing for them to to be printed right now because it's going to take some time anyway. And I don't, I'm not sure if they understand the concept concept of time if they're digitalized or whatever happened. Do they, do they know that they're... I don't, know. I, don't, I don't think they know. Okay, well... Based off of what you scried off of my mom, I don't think they know. And it sounded like she was... Even though it was fake. Happy? Mm-hmm. I mean, to an extent, all emotions are fake, right? There were tricks you had to get some sort of chemical reaction, yeah. yeah. So, um... Yeah, I'm comfortable. Trying to save them, but I'm not making it a priority myself. I'm, I want to save whoever's, you know, still alive and wandering around the, you know, called Aaron yet that needs help. That's just where I stand, though. That's just my opinion. I, I don't know where. I don't really. I mean, I'll be frank. I don't have one on the matter. Oh, okay. Maybe survivors wandering about first. And then take it slowly and decide that we need to wake anybody up or reprint or whatever. Yeah. Because we can't just reprint them all and then suddenly force them onto a world where we have no way to support them. That's what I was thinking too. Them, Resource wise, feed them. I don't, we don't have resources. Yeah. We don't know where to go. We're going to have to explain everything. So. Maybe we just need to figure it. Start with figuring out who the fuck is still alive. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. Who that maybe world knows world. how to run things is still alive. <laughs> Who's going to the, to the regency? Because that ain't fucking me. Well, not, not, I'm saying that wrong. Not it. I don't want to go there. Do they have I'm not to go there? The fucking regency. Well, they're just a little stuck up. I just don't know if they're still alive or not. I would 
would like to hope that they are probably not living. They can stay behind the walls. <laughs> well, the only reason I'm wondering is because they had those uh, like anti-magic stuff. So I don't know. I'm not sure if the uh, the drones made a past. Hmm. They might have. It, it, it could have been all mechanical. I'm not sure how those things worked. Maybe their city got leveled by a ship. Yeah. I mean, it happened to Volta, yeah. What? Speaking of which, I kind of want to rebuild uh, our little our little getaway that was that we had there. That was not at Volta? Wait, what was that? Wasn't it Deep Crest? Oh, that was in Deep Crest, you're right. So many towns. Volta was different. Yeah. Obviously. Well, it's tough because you guys have been almost exclusively a coastal town, so like a lot of them were very similar. Like... <laughs> An aesthetic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a lot of fish smells. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Salty. What was the name of it? Uh, the, the establishment? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, Star. Oh, we're terrible. Stars rest in. Stars no, 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 no. It wasn't, it wasn't something about sweets. Everstar sweet? Everstar, Everstar sweet. There you go. That's it. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Yeah. I'll get there. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I mean, if anybody, if everybody wanted to go in as partners uh, at that establishment again, that was some of the best times of my younger, um, well, not that we're old, but, you know, a, a early adventuring that we've done that I really enjoyed. <laughs> and we could call that place, you know, our, our base and home or whatever. It was nice. Consider it. Oh, okay. I'd think about it. <laughs> <laughs> first things first. Maybe go back to new blah 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 and make sure everybody's safe raster damn yeah 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 and he's still sitting down and <laughs> then double check to see who's safe and then start a search party maybe and seeing what resources we have for those that are around well maybe we should take dip father and her like Maybe he can reestablish some Venkirk shit, although it's shady as fuck. But I know. he at least knows the players there if they're still alive. I don't know. That's fair. I'm sure he has like gold hidden in a mountain or something. Probably. Buried in a hole. Called his ass. <laughs> it's probably really deep. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to you know, get one on him too. Good job, probably. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. What? Oh, okay, gotcha. Get a joke on him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the last second. <laughs> so it sounds like the first step might be... But I steered you. Yeah. New Brasterdam. Get the hell out of here. The first place that Nerd has ever pronounced correctly. Uh, <laughs> the um, Going via airship, um, a few scenes of the heroes... Uh, exhausted on the Risen Demon. Uh, it's not a long flight, um, as you guys aren't all that far from New Brasterdam here at the North Pole. Um, What's that? I forgot that we went to the North Pole. <laughs> in the North Pole. <laughs> yeah, that's where close those stations was at. So, as you are uh, arriving back in New Brasterdam, you uh, see there's a few people that are that are waiting for you. You also see, on the, on the way there, you see that there are lots of this um, inert war machines of the Federation. You know, they look like they were making their way up the mountain passes that have just kind of stopped in their tracks. Some of them have fallen back down the mountain. Some of them are slowly in the process of freezing and already being buried in snow. But um, these forces all seem to be powered down and inert. Um, the city itself, is uh, um, in the process of um, a little funeral for Tor 2. Um, Azariah is uh, dressed in all black for his, for his good friend and um, is very happy to, is somber, but is happy to see uh, you, Lilith, most of all. But um, the rest of, uh, the rest of this clutch and um, pride. Clyde? What do we call it? <laughs> a prutch. A prutch. A prutch. This uh, combined uh, community of Tabaxi and Dragonborn are all kind of there waiting, and they're they're happy to see that you as you all come in, but they're also 
a little taken aback as you all are all pretty beat up, even though you've been healed, you know, you haven't been prestidigitated, everyone's pretty messed up. Um, yeah. But you can see that there is um, Estelle, not Estelle, I'm sorry, um, your mom's name is Malwin. That was my mom. That's sorry, wrong mom. They're there and they're directing a few people to put some food onto some fires and or order that there's a few uh, baths to be drawn, rather to be heated up, um, and the community goes into uh, high gear, preparing for a little, um, a, um, not a festival, but just like a somber big meal for everybody to welcome you all home. Um, there's a few questions, Azariah and. Um, the twins would probably have a lot of questions about what exactly has transpired, what's gone down. Um, if they need to be worried about anything else, they're probably ready to p prepare new defenses if they needed to. Um, when they hear what's transpired and you tell them what you believe has happened, they are extremely relieved. See, Azariah stands up straighter than he probably has in a long time. Um, the twins, um, they're always hard. They don't look any like less hard, but um, you think suddenly they, they look like they might take a long nap for the first time in a long time, um, rather than they've been on guard and watch for a long time. The, at this news, the, the, the mothers and um, some of the elders that are working on this, all this food and, this, uh, and the bats really put it into double time. Um, all of the winter stores are coming out. All of the extra food and drink is coming out. And um, a few people have brought out musical instruments um, and are beginning to get those out. The Tabaxi are a little bit more reserved with their musical instruments, but um, the musicianship is probably um, surprising to a lot of the people there. Um, they usually see them in a lot of war uh, and fighting um, practices, but the tabaxi also have a lot of musical inclinations, and it's a softer side that they show in this moment. Um, there's a lot of dancing between um, everyone, but what's what's Aww, it's what, be some new what do you four <laughs> do while this is kind of happening? There's hot baths, there's good food. What are the four of you doing on this this first night back? Probably drinking and celebrating, I'm relaxing gonna, after drink. a bath. I'm gonna drink alcohol. To rockets! Oh, yeah. Are you gonna drink with me? Yeah. I just remember. I, I'm not keeping up with you. I'm oh. smarter to do that. I'm, not, I'm smart enough not to do you that. Also smaller. I'm very small too than what I used You're to so be. You're so tiny. But I just have no tolerance. And but now, I mean, I'll feel fuzzy on the outside like I do, but on the inside. You should give him your mug so he thinks he's drunk, but he's not. What's that? Nothing. Your mug? I'll drink it. I'll drink from it. Well, she's going to come out and she's going to have two mugs because she does have two mugs. One is the... Which one is she giving you? <laughs> Thanks. What yeah, type of sure, a labyrinth sure. to be? <laughs> what season are you in? I might decide, right? <laughs> yeah. Right? Well, I'm trying to figure out. I was like, one of them does alcohol and the other one does not alcohol. I don't want to get him really fucked up. <laughs> oh, what the hell? You can have this one. Okay, yeah. And I'll just start chugging away. Yeah. <laughs> um, you're a lightweight. You're also a small oh, creature. Oh, no. That's fair. Uh, <laughs> that's that is great. Roll uh, 20 right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Roll your chonker. 10 or, Ten or higher. Oh, oh, 15. Oh, yeah. It's 15. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's real. Uh, it's, it's, it's enough to get you a little messed up. Um, uh, you're just a little glassy-eyed first to this first hour or so. Uh, you're not keeping your guts out or anything like that. It's, um, it's a nice, even, uh, amber lager. It's not too strong. It's not going to be messing you up or anything like that. Or truly whatever she wants it to be. Um, what's everyone doing? So you guys have some drinks in hand? Gaff, uh, sorry, Gaff. Kaz is taking a bath. This is a, he just wants to clean up, yeah. Clean up. He just feels gross and nasty, and man, you just want to relax. Emerges the shiny, clean white. Um, 
for the festivities. The sword over your shoulder says, no, this is a party. I hope so. Maybe they get you out. I'm so sorry. So we still could. It could be dead. It could be a lot worse. You were busy. You were busy. Plus, I got to help kill you. A few very bad things. Yeah, we will find somebody, though. There are a lot of magical people that I know, and they're smart. I figured it out. I have every faith in you. No. I shouldn't. <laughs> Kaz talking to himself, emerging from this bath. Mm. Well, do you want to go talk to our sisters? Come on. He's going to sling over his shoulder and go running. Yeah. He's going to go run to the crunch, try and find them holding his sword. Okay. <laughs> um, you all see a scene of uh, Kaz <laughs> talking frantically with his hands and handing a sword over to the... He's just running through the sword like, wait! Very <laughs> stoic uh, uh, female tabaxi twins. Um, both of them are like looking at Kaz like he's absolutely insane. Um, one of them kind of holds the sword for a, a time. And it's horse! And then eventually they kind of look at each other and they begin to pass this the sword around. <laughs> um, and there's a little bit of a uh, melancholy, but it is there, there are tears of happiness that mm -hmm. I haven't talked to in a long time. Wait, it's talking part to them too? Mm -hmm. I guess we never tried that, did we? We never held the sword. Yeah, we never did. Jeez. D you're right! Yeah. <laughs> I don't know him. He no. kept it on his back. He yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't think Kaz would have given it. Like, I don't see Kaz no, giving it up. I actually just think um, he just assumes that they couldn't hear it. Yeah. There's also, it's funnier this way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, he just assumed. He still <laughs> thinks it. yeah. that it's probably just. It may have just been in his head. It's maybe just tabaxis that can maybe hear just his family. He's kind of surprised that they can hear it because he was but figuring that he would have to, like. He's part talk. now. Well, I didn't hear it. It's true. Well, yeah. anybody that holds it probably could be, yeah. What's Nerd doing in this, in these festivities, this first night back in New Brasterdam? I think I'd be participating in the revelry to an extent. I feel like I would also go over to Ashby and get really philosophical about... Oh yeah. Old he is getting old. totally existential. A lot of the... <laughs> well, but even like the like, potential for recuperation technology-wise. Oh and yeah. He... He... Yeah, he is so he's coming with you on these conversations, but at about an hour in, he gets fucked up, um, <laughs> and he's starting to get into things of like you know, like oh god, we could, we 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 we, could, we gotta pick which one we're gonna be. We're gonna be benevolent. Are we gonna be omniscient? We gotta figure out what we're gonna be. If we're gonna be the new gods, we're gonna figure this out. We're gonna wait, wait, wait. No, that's, that's too crazy. It's too crazy. We're just look, take it slow, take it slow, and eventually, about two hours in, he's just kind of head down asleep, and he's got scribbled notes. It looks like he's probably already halfway figured out how to reprint somebody mm -hmm. and making sure like a filtration system to make sure that absolutely no nanotechnology, no anything, no funny business is is in these reprints, making sure they're completely themselves. Um, however, you'll have to ask him more about it maybe in the morning as he's kind of drooling. Mm. Um, there's a little ale mug ring in the center of the, of the blueprints that he started. Um, Taragas, what are you thinking about? What are you doing? Um, I probably wanted to be with my mom for a little bit of the night yeah. anyway, just to describe my new body. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> she, she recognized, it's one of those things, um, like mothers know, when you guys first got there, she she knew. I mean, of course, obviously, there's only four of you. She could probably deduce, but like it was, it was a. You don't have to explain. She she recognizes you naturally. The um, they've made a small little tombstone, a little like place uh, in the. There's a little plot where they bury the those in the community. Um, usually, a ice burial kind of thing. Um, there's something fresh, and they've looks like they've just laid uh, Tarakas too, ripped, uh, wrapped up in linens, just waiting for the ice to freeze them, freeze over it. Um, place that just says uh, just tore to, and says you know whatever the year is. Hold on, I already deleted it, twenty seventy eight or whatever it was. <laughs> <laughs> the, the deliver, I deleted it out of here. But the point is, the beginning and end is the same number. Or rather, it would be one one different. He'd be one year old. Yeah, because like, I forgot it. Yeah, the, year, the year went over. It. Yeah, the year went. The year <laughs> went over. Like, you were gone. Astronauts. Yeah. So it just says this guy was one year old. Um, 
Is there anything else you guys want to do this first night back? Well, I'll probably... <laughs> Mill, like, in milling around the party and stuff, I'll see Professor Ashby there mm -hmm. at the table sleeping just with the scribble notes and stuff. Yeah. If there's any quills or ink or whatever nearby, yeah. I'll be like, huh, ah, okay, and just draw like a little circle around one of his eyes. <laughs> Just yeah. to, you know, as a prank. Yeah, yeah. And Give him like a fake black eye. Yeah. yeah. I want to see him doing yeah. that, like a monocle. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go. Okay. Yeah. Like yeah. Right. yeah. I'm gonna go over and do it to the other eye. Oh yeah. Oh, now he's got full like pencil like, glasses. Such a nerd. Where's nerd at anyway? <laughs> I don't know. Thinking. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nerd's still just thinking about what to maybe taking his own notes on something. I'm gonna draw a dick on his face. The oh, that's fine. You can do that. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Kaz connects the two monocles to a, a long. I know I was gonna ask, but I didn't. Uh, Kaz draws a connects the two monocles uh, with a long U, making it a cocker balls, <laughs> um, making it look like a muppet, uh, look like a. I don't know how this works out so like great. Gonzo. It looks great, Kaz. <laughs> look like I'm not like a muppet. <laughs> um, Ashby has a light little fart and uh, goes back to sleep. Um, the heroes are uh, probably the last few up, as most of the rest of the community is, uh, begins to peel off, go to bed, go to guard, go to their, you know, their watch. Eventually it's just the four of you left. Hmm. Well, it's great to see everybody here. It seems like everybody is doing really well. I mean, despite everything that's happened on the whole planet. Yeah, yeah. It gives a lot of good hope. It will take a lot to rebuild, but yeah. I don't think I'm gonna stay here. Where are you gonna stay go? Home. Well, I moved yesterday, I mean. Well, because with everything, it's just being built here, it's it's uh, it's all changing. It's it's nothing I remember when I was growing up here. But aren't you the speaker? Like, don't you kind of have to be here? Well, I think with how much everything's changed, I, that that doesn't matter much anymore. But no, just to make sure it's official, I can talk to my mom in the morning just to make sure it's uh, I I, I can tell her that I, I'm turning the roads. I mean. When well, y'all can also just res. Oh, my dad? Well, uh, are, are you no. powerful? I guess maybe. Well, um, I, I was more so referring to like your clone and then just like. Tor too. Yeah. You know, I could, but I'm not sure how he would react. I don't know. I'm just saying. Or like just talk to your mom and figure it out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll talk to her. I don't think I'm going to res. Uh, my other half, though, only, That's fair. only because I don't know what they would... I mean, it, the, the way his brief message when we were in Clotho's den, uh, <clears throat> currently, he, he were at the time attacking everything, his uh, message to me was that he kept receiving messages or something like that, or like some sort of protocol, so to speak, to, to kill people, to hurt people, that kind of stuff, and that's why he offed himself. I'm surprised he had the strength oh. to do it, honestly, but... So I'm not sure if that's what would come back. Mm. So maybe not. Maybe not that. I'm not going to tell you what you can and cannot do with your own clone. Well, thanks. But it was a good idea. So that is... I respect your decision not to. No? So you, what are you going to do? Stay here? As I is here? <clears throat> I mean... I'll probably stay here for a while. I don't know. Maybe do some more exploring, see if there's any more survivors out there. I too would like to go out and see if there are survivors. They're fine here. Tar and Zombo need me roaming around. Causing trouble, so. <laughs> I think I'd always come back. Oh, hey. yeah. <laughs> It's like it's be home base. Home base. And we have a ship. Yeah. Uh huh. Then yeah, I can always teleport back. As long as that works. Plus there are other places we did not go. Yeah. 
And I really did want to explore like the whole of uh, Calderon. Mm-hmm. We only got, well, I guess, two continents left. Yeah, That's some we con- were there. Yeah. yeah, some we were kind of restricted on too, but not really. Well, that Regency one, but you know, I don't want to go back there. We actually no. crossed quite a bit of that fucker. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, it seemed fair. like they were keeping a lot more secret than what we were able a to see. A lot of it's desert. Oh. Well, I guess we saw it. I'll mark it off my bucket list. Because, right, we saw the far wall, and then we went west all the way to that city. That's the continent. That was pretty much it. Okay, yeah, you're right. Yep. I'm sure there's little hovels and shit. There still could be more there because the sky yeah. has not been found. True. Well, I'm down. Are we, are we, are we going to go? I mean, not today, obviously. We, 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 no, uh, no, no. I think we should just stay so. here and maybe relax for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, this Burn is exciting. break, right? All right, yeah. <clears throat> we'll take a little break and then we'll uh, do some more adventuring, maybe. Yeah, okay. Oh, you know, I, you know, I, I almost got sad. I thought this was it. I thought this was, we were all parting ways or something. No. But at yeah. some point, it's probably going to happen. Why? We're all family now. Right, but people get older and people decide different things. And Well, maybe. But there'll still be family. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. I'm just being real. I got like 20 years of my kids. Like, <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> I, well, I suppose whatever priorities you want, go first. What do you want to do, nerd? I don't know. I think I'll figure it out as I go. But yeah, resource hunting would be good at first. Mm-hmm. Resource hunting, finding people, maybe letting them know that new Brasterdam exists, <laughs> and they could always come back here. You know, I was thinking about going they... back to Willowgrave, too. Oh, yeah. Like, there might be people left. Well, you better. You know, I, so hope. I, I'm I hope. I hope that there are people left. I was just thinking of the cash there that may, uh, There's that may have survived. There could be some very, very cool items. I know, right? I mean, I haven't really like stretched the limit of what I think I could do, so it'll be, it'll be interesting. There's, there, I can, I can raise yeah. dead people. I know. Well, no, I mean, I mean, they'll, they'll still be dead when I raise them up, like, like little, little servants. I can do that. I haven't done it much. Are you gonna have an army of undead things? No, well, not an army. That's a little. Like, <laughs> that's don't be close, though. No, that's no, cool. no, no, no. I mean, like, if I want somebody to go tend my gardening, and I don't want to chop another foot off if I, because I'm angry. You know, well, I enjoy gardening. Know. I do like gardening, but when, when I'm angry, anyway, I'm just putting examples out there. Did you chop your foot off? No, not my foot. I misspoke. It was my toe. Oh. Yeah, I was hoeing in the wrong spot. <laughs> anyway, that's not missing anymore. I mean. Oh, I could grow back. You're right. It is back. Mm-hmm. You have a new body. Oh, I mean, body. you know what? Remember? It's gonna it's gonna take some time to get rid to get these old. In stories. fact, you have six toes. You know, I thought I could run faster. I think I can. I wouldn't mind maybe finding a way to get Horus out of the sword. I sort of promised I would. That's a good idea. Yeah. Maybe no Ashby idea could help. Going. That's about that. I drew a dick on his face. I think he's a little mad. Oh, he doesn't know you drew it. Yeah, he doesn't know who did it. We can so, ask him in like a week. My artwork is very this. Just kidding. Known by your dick's drawing. <laughs> and they shall know me. All of her by my or dick his drawings. Little corkscrew. <laughs> <laughs> Jolly Rancher. The dick. <laughs> hmm. but yeah. Stay here. Have a nice vacation. Right? Time. Yeah, yeah, family. Yep. And then take our ship and see what we can find, huh? Yeah. I like this idea. This plan. Maybe take out whatever uh, Federation drones are left over. They're just flying about. Yeah, there might be. We will deal with it. Deal with the outlaws in the land and just it'll be the four of us against the whole thing. Well, no, I'm I'm getting carried away. With the outlaws. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you never know. The world went to shit. Somebody else is just going to try to. I know, right? Wouldn't it be so terrible to fight them? We might have to. I know. I'm not so prepared to do that. Yeah. Sacrifice my time. But to be, I mean, we could look at setting up not like any sort of like enforcement entity but protection entity that's like legit protection that you 
entity. Oh. I don't know. Like you mean here has protection? I mean like here. Not here. Just in general. Oh. I mean we got a twat waffle over there that's pretty good with airship maneuverability and things and yeah. has a new lease on life and Okay. What are you talking about? I don't know. Or are you talking about Ashby? I'm t- well, both, I guess. Okay. I mean, we could start looking at like repurposing some of the beneficial parts of the airborne fleet stuff Uh and Mm. you know getting that set together we can go talk in venkirk and see what kind of power sources are left over since we never actually went into that fucking moray spot that's very true there's Mm -hmm. also a goddamn building somewhere in zostra potentially that has like a freaking multiple bookcases worth of artificial god cubes um, which are either Whoa. relocated somewhere else or still there. I don't know, but we could use but those to power different things. It would and... probably be very bad in the wrong hands. Yeah. I'm not saying we're the right hands. Oh, I'm, I'm not the right hands. I don't know anything about that stuff. We wouldn't want someone lesser <clears throat> to find them. As in less, like, more, less good. Yeah. Whatever. Right. They're a responsible party, besides yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. to undertake the, uh, redistribution of the resources on the planet? Does that sound like what you were trying Mm -hmm. to... Maybe. I don't know. I'm just thinking of different ways to protect stuff. Like... Okay. Well, you're thinking about it... And not rule over shit, but protect shit. Yeah. Yeah. Which is a fine fucking line. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want people to have to... Or rather, I don't want to tell people what to do. I don't want to be that type of uh, person that people would look up to, so to speak. Uh, But, uh... I mean, maybe I do want to tell them what to do. Like, don't fuck with other people. I mean, unless they're supposed to. Like, in, what, what do you mean? Like, if you're, a, like if you're, um, like an enforcer, and and you see somebody like kind of getting up to something, so you have to fuck with them a little bit, so that yeah. But my point is, the first people wouldn't be fucking with yes. people. Yeah. Well, I mean, that... should there be consent? I mean, I... we're not talking about sex. Oh. Are we? I... Well, it could it could include it, but I think what Nerd was trying to really talk about was just the, uh-huh. uh, like criminal thing, criminal activities. And like, uh, let's find a way to like I don't know. I feel like I'm in a fucking pageant or something. Be like world peace, but also well, well, one rule: don't be a dick. Well, well, it's not perfect, Nerd, and then it's never going to be perfect because that's what Quoto was trying to do. Okay, well let's blow it up then. Well, no, and I'm not saying that, but I mean we'll just have to control our little universes that we see and exist and to the best of our ability. I feel like universe is a misleading word choice in that statement. You're probably right, yeah. So we'll control have... the, the what we see and dictate in our own worlds. That's that's still misleading, you're right. Either way, what I'm trying to say is you can't fix everything. No, I'm not saying fix everything. I'm just saying And you can't protect everything. I do think it would be a good idea to set up some sort of form of a not government's the wrong word, but I don't know. Council of some kind, people are going to be seeking out safety, and New Brasterdam is going to be sort of a beacon for people. Yeah. And eventually, and people really are going to be setting up their own little areas, and new people will be coming up and setting up their own councils, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so, I think the world's going to move on by itself. Without much interference with us. One you know. thing at a time. Yeah. It's um, just making sure that there's enough there for those that are left. And those who need print. I don't think we should print people. No? I mean, I didn't think so either when I first thought, really thought about it. But uh, it, it seemed like the right thing to do to begin with, just to undo the wrong that was done, that kind of thing. But... I mean, why don't we make sure we can establish the mouths that are there to feed right now? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Before you add another 40,000 people on. I mean, However many are in there, yeah. yeah there's, I'm sure there's a, a bunch. Is it? Four million I people. I resources are before we go wake anybody up, so to speak. I mean, I think there should be, like, research, too, into how many people are in the Ark and all that stuff. And Because uh, I didn't get a list of names. I just got, like, instructions on how to reprint. Mm. But we can go get back into one of those computers and figure that out. And... Yeah. All part of the 
go out, see what's happening, figure it out, find the research, do things, get people, bring them back, save the world again. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Those things. Hashtag typical Tuesday. Is it really Tuesday? Yeah. The week just flies by. The heroes taking a long rest, deciding to get back out after a, after a little vacation. Hmm. Back out into it, um, looking to shepherd the new realm to some sort of brighter future as best they can, making whatever calls they can to rescue who they feel needs rescuing. They canvassing, looking out to canvas uh, for any new survivors, collecting them, bringing them, bringing them back. Trying to re-establish re some some sort of foothold in the world. Oh, we should make another one of those ICBs or whatever you called it. Oh yeah, that's in the plan. No, okay, just just to make sure in case we do you know come up against some resistance out there. Preventative <laughs> measure. So, I'd like to know uh, how your characters live out their lives. The first to go would probably be. Well, nerd, let's. I'm gonna what's... die first. Yeah, nerd. What's your? Well, that's what I'm saying, nerd. What do you? What's? What do you? How do you live out your life? So you're. You're. How long would you be with this adventuring party until? Uh, when would you retire? Would you retire? Well, here we here we go. Can I do this? Yeah, yeah. Take, take over. So fast forward like twenty five ish years. Nerd is. Has a collection of sending rings. Yeah. I don't know hundred of them. Maybe. Not even. I don't know. I don't know how many you'd actually need. Um, hmm. So basically, he's going to recount. He's going to start sending to his mom. Yeah, so like I was telling you before, you know, we did the thing, we got the stuff, killed the guy, God, whatever. Went around and kind of got some resources and helped Suresh get some sort of an air patrol situation going where I kind of collected more and stashed more and helped out where I could. And after about five years, I Came back to this mountain where the Ark is and held up a little bit. Working on computers, working on different artillery, and I'm not going to tell any of the other people this because it's all programmed and I'll be honest, I don't probably have many days left. But... I kind of set up a nuclear net of sorts, I guess. That's what you want to call it? I don't know. I call it the grab and fling. <laughs> anyway, it's set up with a bunch of protective things, so well, A, if people try to approach this mountain, they're going to be blown up like a fucking trying to attack some goddamn conspiracy theorist with a tinfoil hat. Um, But really what it is is so when that entity comes back, whenever it is... Oh, it's gonna fire away and catch it and fling it somewhere else, I think. I don't know, it also might just blow up the fucking planet. Um, but then I got the printer program too, so. If there's anybody I trust that restart stuff, it's you. Things gonna go. So, <clears throat> it would probably be some set recurring you know, meeting that the rest of the heroes have, right? Some central place that you guys meet up. What time nerd's just not there?
Kaz, how do you want to end? Mm. What's Kaz's retirement look like? I think he would go around and he would try and find as many survivors as he, you know, as he could. Try to rebuild. And then I think he'd go back to New Amsterdam and like build himself like a house in town instead of hiding. And he would never have like children of his own, but he would watch everybody else. And he would make sure that like if there were any like survivors or any children that didn't have anybody, like if he found them just out wandering, that he would bring them home and he would take care of them. <laughs> and then he would just make sure to get Horace home. I think he would spend all of his days finding any books or anything that he could to make sure he was home. I think it's probably the first person. I think it's brought back. Using this technology. It's probably Horus. Yeah. But he probably spent the rest of his days just playing with his brother and watching over the kids that his sisters would have, I think. Eventually, there's a small scene of a very large mound in the ice shelf. Just labeled. Kiss on Zaid. Three separate aces come to pay their respects. Rockus. Your reincarnation may have bought you a few extra years, but after all the adventuring, after all of the shepherding of the world, what's your retirement plan? I uh, track down if he was still alive, could be X. And uh, try to make the best reconciliation with him as I could. Silly, but I wanted to open up like a, a soup kitchen type of thing um, back in New Brasher Pan, too. That way, this little one, maybe mine, could take it over. Always underfoot. You know, first, you can't keep him out of the kitchen, and then eventually, you have to hand over the keys to the pantry, slip him a envelope. Marked secret recipes. Where do you want to end up? Uh, I want to take that same road I took when I first left the breast stop and that huge hole that we found at the very beginning. When I'm old enough, since I'm a Timothy now. Uh, I want to be able to, if I remember right, it was, there was a warm breeze yep. wafting out of that. I want to just disappear into it. Just fall into it? Not, not fall, climb into it and yeah. see if there's a way to go down. It was one of the first things I regret. Uh, when, when the whole journey started, not, not poking into it and not... Wondering what it could have been? Yeah. It was just one of the last things that I thought. The old, the old tired body. It's a small little guy, but it's still scrappy and scramble, scrambly. You just see him tie a rope to a tree nearby, throw it over the edge, and you see this little form climb down, this smiling. This has been in the back of my mind for some time. It's fine to see what's at the bottom. You see his excited little, excited little explorer's face as he kicks off and <laughs> down into blackness. Lilith, what's your retirement look like? It's a little bit later. 
probably another, at least another few hundred years after everyone else is dead and gone. So long. Um. What's his retirement look like? Well. What's old age look like? She's gonna have all the sex that she couldn't have yeah. adventure. <laughs> We got now centuries she, for it. I know. <laughs> now she can live out her days with Azariah. Um, I imagine that Lilith has a family. Probably a big one. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how many kids elves have, but she's going to have as many as she can, probably. And then they're going to stay in New Brasterdam for a long while. Yeah. At least until, like... It's a large metropolis at some point. Yeah. Like, they're going to stay there because that's where their friends are. I mean, at least for a short while. Yeah. But I think... Yeah, where does she end up? Probably in the forest somewhere. Um... I imagine she goes out and finds a, a tree. And maybe just climbs up into the tree and yeah. disappears into flowers. You know how I let him do. Oh, I should have done yours first. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the camera watches the blue and green flowers. see in the background of the shot that it follows these leaves. The background <clears throat> begins the time lapse. Faster and faster. Until the world's unrecognizable to you. Like you all said, eventually Heroes, heroes all pass, one by one, into the great beyond, sending their molecules and magic back into the great cosmic cycle. In time, their legend fades into myth, and eventually those myths are forgotten. Over the next 2,000 years, as the last society of sentient beings in our universe flourishes in the final rays of sunshine <clears throat> from a dying star flung far out. In the ever expanding void of darkness that has slowly grown to envelop everything that once was. And from a distance, we watch the realm grow colder and darker until its central star coughs one final time, leaving behind only the inky black darkness. The camera pans through that darkness for an indeterminate length of time before it comes to focus on a tiny iridescent speck. The entity, the destroyer, the conscious observer. It hurtles quietly through the void, <clears throat> once again finding itself acutely alone as it races towards the supermassive black hole in the center of what was once the center of a bright universe. In the milliseconds before crossing over the event horizon, the entity has a memory of all the magic and wonder that this universe had created and contained. And in that tiny moment of reflection, the entity considers how close it came to never fulfilling this purpose. 
and how the strange creatures risk themselves and their homes to make a sentient space rock whole again. <laughs> Inside the singularity, the entity worries about what might come next that what comes after might never be as good as what was. But then the entity has a calming vision. A simple, open-air thatched cottage looking out over a snowy mountain lake as, brill as a brilliant aurora plays across the night sky and is reflected off the still water. Inside the cottage sits only a hearth and a heavy wooden long table lit by large candles. A white tabaxi enters the soundless scene and carefully positions his large frame on the bench of the long table, pulling out a pouch of tea, smiling as a small furry tanuki in a chef's hat barely manages to place several steaming baskets on the table before taking off their hat, tossing their hair, and brushing out their cheeks before it's taking a seat next to the large tabaxi. A pale Al aladrim also approaches the table with a tray full of drinks in all sizes and colors. She takes care to select the chunkiest draft of fish milk, mutters an incantation, and slides the now steaming mug across the table over to a, an older goblin that has taken the fire poker from the hearth and has modded it into something extremely unsafe. The four heroes soundlessly enjoy their meal, laughing, and raise their glasses for a toast. In the instant they touch their cups, there is an explosion of light. <laughs> he... Brighter, brighter and hotter than anything that will occur for another 14.3 million years. <laughs> that, height, that heat and that light coalesces in the areas of greater density forming stars. Rocky planets that race away from the violent epicenter of creation. As the camera slow pans out from that nebula, Watching the slowly panning heat, the slowly spinning heat and matter spiral out into infant and infinite galaxies. The music builds to an optimistic refrain, refrain and the bright white text of the credits <laughs> begin to roll up the screen. Haphazard Heroes, Campaign 2. Thank you for exploring Caldera with me.